Hey everyone, thank you for watching. This is Iron Toes. This is your quick guide to using Darkhawk in Marvel's Contest of Champions. Now, I gotta be honest, I had never even heard of Darkhawk before Kabam added him to the game, uh, but actually, he is a pretty decent champ and has some good utility. He is bleed immune and poison immune, which is always nice. He can heal block on his special three. He can regenerate reliably. And when he's duped, he can make for a tricky war defender. Now, if all you want to do is skip the reading of his profile and start kicking some butt, here's the deal. Spam special three. Piece of cake. Special three puts Darkhawk into null mode. Null mode inflicts heal block and doubles your attack for 30 seconds. And if he's duped with the max signature ability, it actually triples his attack. As well, your basic attacks all start dealing extra damage. Null mode equals beast mode. Now, once you get comfortable with Darkhawk's moveset and kicking butt with null mode, you should start practicing rotation. If you are in need of health, rotate between specials 3 and 2. Each time you switch modes, you'll regain 10% of your health. And in this rotation, every other switch will put you into beatdown null mode. So... Health regain, beatdown. Uh, it's probably the most common technique I've used. Um, if you're not concerned about health recovery, though, rotate special three and special one. Three puts you into null mode, and while you're in it, special one will tack on an extra shock damage over time debuff. If you want to take him to the next level, the synergies aren't that bad. The Moon Knight and Night Thrasher synergies make Darkhawk start in a random mode. I definitely recommend this one. You see, if you start out in Null Mode, you're already dealing nice damage. If you start out in Stealth Mode or Shield Mode, then if you hit your first Special 3 fast enough, you'll get the Regeneration Burst uh, pretty quick because you'll switch from whatever you started on into Null Mode. Um, pretty much a win-win. The other synergies are okay for upping the damage. Some, like uh, Annihilus, gives you a 9% boost while you're in one of those modes. Uh, but if you're building a decent questing team, Take Night Thrasher or Moon Knight, and then use the other three spots for some other utility. Uh, the last thing is that the Awakened ability really does help, and the higher the signature, the better. It benefits each mode. The dupe will enable auto-blocking in shield mode, which makes for an annoying defender in war. Uh, stealth mode generates more power when attacking, and Null mode, when maxed, gives you 100% attack increase on top of the increase you already get from Null mode. Uh, he's usable without the dupe, but it will crank up his usefulness. Um, so that's the gist of it. Team up with Moon Knight or Night Thrasher and learn to rotate your special attacks three and two or three and one. Uh, and there are some other fine details about increased armor, de decreased opponent power gain and such, but it, it won't impact your fight as much uh, at all once you get the hang of it. So I hope this helped. Uh, do hit that like and subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Thanks guys. See ya.